Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Today in this video, I will be stuffing my weekly variable expenses. So let's give this a quick count. We've got 50, 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, $265 going into my weekly vari variable expenses. So that is groceries, fuel, fun, household, just all those sorts of things. So I don't have any tens today, which is a bit different. I'm doing some different amounts notes wise into my envelopes. But before we can stuff that, firstly, we must unstuff this. So I've got the purse, pop that over there. I've got quite a bit of rollover today, which is awesome. I've got, what do we got here? 20, 30, $40 in fuel and some coins. I've got $25, I think, in splurge. Yep, $25 in there and some coins. And then in groceries, I've got $25 and again, some coins. So we'll take the coins out. Pop them all there. Beautiful. All right. So let's give the rollover a very quick count and see where we ended up. Okay, so we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So 90 dollars in rollover plus a whole heap of coins. So I'll pop that at the back here and I'm going to jump in quickly and do my coins challenge. So I've got $2, 250 and 350 left in this row and I'm hoping that I can do those today. So I've got my red Sharpie here. Let's do the $3.50. Let's do the $2.50. And let's see if we can make $2 here. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 1, 20, 130, 135. So I can't do that, but I can do two of the 50 cents from over here and that 35 I'll just treat as a little bit extra. So very close and we will be finished this $150 coin challenge. So I'm just going to pop all these coins off to the side and deal with those a little bit later. All right, we'll leave that there to dry. Now stuffing ahead for next week. Fuel is going to get its usual $80, so 20, 40, 60, 80. I kept all the nice gross notes so I can go and spend them. Fuel, done. Splurge is going to get its usual $105. Lovely. I am doing a no spend November at the moment, except for anything that is not budgeted for. So I'm hoping majority of this $105 for the next few weeks won't get spent and yeah, we'll be stuffing some of my envelopes nicely. Now groceries is going to get its usual $70. Again, single person, no pets, no kids, just me. I do mirror replacement shakes for the majority of my food. So that is why I'm able to have such a small grocery bill and have such a large amount of rollover each week. All right, so we are all stuffed for the week ahead. We've got our $10 here from household, which I will find a home for very soon. But let's add in this extra money. So if you are new here, my household fund is what I would consider to be fully funded at $50. So I just haven't been adding to that. I've been using that $10 every week just to fund other envelopes that need a little bit of love. So. All right, let's have a look. Let's jump into, hmm, I'm going to go into the fun stuff. Let's open this one up. So I am going to be putting, if you saw my last video, you know my adventure fun has had one serious hit because I have been doing some fun stuff lately. So I'm going to put $25 into adventure. So that'll bring that up to $75 in there. Kmart, I'm going to skip today. Amazon is pretty much fully funded for what I need it for. So I'll skip that. 
fun I may come back to later on seasonal again pretty much fully funded for what I need it for tech I could come back to Samsung that's getting stuffed pretty well every fortnight with my wage so I'll leave that so we'll go into some of the challenges so I've got the rainy day one here so that's already got $40 in there. And what I might do is give it do, 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 another $20 today. So that'll bring it up to $60 already. So the umbrellas here are worth $10 and the rain clouds are worth five. I just haven't um, put those on the tracker like I normally would. But there we go, $60 into rainy day. Beautiful, I'll leave that one out just to dry a little bit. Now, let's do some, I could put all of the fives from household into this $5. I could, I could, I could, I could. Let's, let's see where that takes me. What I'll do, I know I want to finish this one today. So I've got 10, 20, 30. I've still got a $10 left over. So I want to fully fund this $10 note challenge today. Where's my blue pen gone? All right, so 10, 20, and 30, and we should have $100 in here. All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, yay! All right, $100 there. So if you're a subscriber here, you know the deal. This $100 is going to be going to my manifestation binder. So I'm going to leave the money out and I'm also going to leave the tracker off to the side because I'm going to wipe this straight off and I'm going to start it again straight away. All right. I think I will put this $15 here into my $5 challenge just to give that one a little bit of a catch up. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, and 15. Beautiful. So in here now, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, $65 in there. So we have $35 and this one will be fully funded as well and going into the manifestation binder. So I'll leave that and that there. I'll leave this over here so I can cross that off and start that one again. I'll just pop that in there very loosely for the moment. Now this $100, and I'm also going to put the leftover $10. That's just going to go maybe into my pantry envelope in my manifestation binder. So I have a little bit of money that sits off to the side here that I pull from, you know, groceries and things like that. So I've got $115 here, extra money that I can play with when I'm stuffing my manifestation binder. So I will probably put that video up after this one. So if you haven't seen the last video of that, I'll leave a screen at the end here so you can go and watch that one. If you've made it this far in the video, let me know what your plans are for the weekend. Just drop me an emoji or just let me know how your day's going. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one.